Ugh, my hands are all sticky now. And welcome back to Unnecessary Inventions. So a few weeks ago, I bought five products from Amazon Prime. I tested them out. I decided if I thought they were unnecessary, and most of them were, but you can go check out that video. But today, I decided to narrow it down and buy five products that were originally on Shark Tank. And if you don't know what Shark Tank is, you go on, you pitch your business to a bunch of investors, and they'll invest in your company. Some of them are really great ideas, and some of them are just horrible. So today, I purchased these five products that were on Shark Tank, and we're gonna test them out and see if they actually are pretty unnecessary. So let's get into them. So the first product that we are going to look at is probably the stupidest one on the list. And this right here is the original no phone. It is a fake phone for people addicted to real phones. Zero gigabytes, no headphone jack, no Wi-Fi, no camera. And so they were on Shark Tank looking for $25,000 for 25% equity in their company. And so I think it pretty much just that, if I can figure out how to open it. So here we have essentially a black brick. It does have volume rockers and a speaker grill and a home button. Hello, hello. Man, this really nails it on the head for unnecessary. I can't even really review it because that's it. I mean, I guess it could be a paperweight maybe, but never again experience the unsettling feeling of flesh on flesh when closing your hands. So I guess this is just for someone who is so addicted to their phone, but why don't they have their phone on them when they need this thing? Why would they carry this thing? Maybe if you're, I don't know, I can't even think of a situation. And just like that, I am rating the no phone unnecessary. Mm. Thank you for your time. Next. Up next, we have the Guzzle Buddy To Go. So this makes your wine bottle into an entire wine glass. So pretty much you plug it and you chug it. Except, do I have wine here? Oh, would you look at that? I have some champagne. Only about 8.30 right now. I guess this is how the day's gonna be going. Woo! So the Guzzle Buddy, unbreakable wine glass. I think I'm gonna have to test that part out. But you just chug it in there. That is breakable. How can they say that's unbreakable? Bottoms up. It pours so slow. I don't know if because it's champagne is making it pour slower because of the carbonation. Am I about to drink a whole bottle of champagne this morning? It is for science. So what do I think of the, what's it called? The Guzzle Buddy To Go. Honestly, this looks exactly like an unnecessary invention that I would make. So because of that, I'm definitely gonna have to say this is unnecessary. Mm. Plus it doesn't even really flow that well. If I'm gonna drink an entire bottle of wine to myself, I'm gonna want that thing to not be struggling. Oh, I didn't look up. They wanted $400,000 for 10% of the company. What are these people thinking? They could, did they get a deal? They did 1.4 million in sales in 10 months. I guess I gotta start selling my stuff. Okay, next, we're on booze, let's keep it going. And this one is called the 180 cup. So basically it's like your classic solo cup, but it has a shot glass built in. And obviously it's made for parties if they're giving you ping pong balls to play pong as well. But I already have a few questions about this thing. Let's get our guzzle buddy out of here. So when they went on Shark Tank, they were looking for $300,000 investment in exchange for 15% of the company. I mean, it works like a normal cup. Well, now I gotta finish it. See, this is where you run into the issue. I can't use the shot glass until I finish what's in here. And then the issue, when I finish it, to use the shot glass, it pours all over the place. So now let's take a shot. And then when I take a shot and I wanna drink out of the top, it's pouring all over myself again. I mean, my pants are getting wet, my shoes are wet. I think I can make this call pretty early. These are mm. unnecessary. I mean, I guess if you're at a party and you don't care about everything getting gross, but I mean, you're just gonna be sticky everywhere you go. That is not for me. Thank you, next. So then after you have finished a bottle of wine, you had a beer and you had a shot, what happens next? You gotta pee. This guy is called the Euro Club. The only club in your bag guaranteed to keep you out of the woods. So essentially, this thing should be a putter with a built-in urinal in it. 
and it's extremely light. I guess you wouldn't use this thing as an actual putter. I mean, it weighs like one pound. I don't think you'd be able to actually do anything with this. But you would keep it in your bag and it looks like a normal club when you're around. And then you can flip it out and pee in the middle of the golf course, I guess. Is it falling apart? There's something, maybe that's supposed to be in there. So when they went on Shark Tank, they were looking for... So when they were on, they were only looking for 25% investment in exchange for 51 stake in the product. Huh, so they were basically like giving away the company. So that means they must not have sold that many of them. You know, after that, I do kind of have to pee. I'm, no, I don't want to get demonetized. I'm not gonna pee on camera. So, what are my thoughts? Think we can hit one of the ping pong balls? I actually probably have played golf once in my life. Well, there's, okay, wait, it's coming back. Final thoughts. I'm actually pretty surprised. I am going four for four that this guy is officially rated <clears throat> unnecessary. This actually kind of reminds me of last week I made the planter pisser, so you can pee wherever you want. And it's sort of similar to this. So welcome to the club of unnecessary inventions. So moving on. So this last one, I am pretty excited to check out. I've seen this a bunch online and I had no idea that it was on Shark Tank and it is called the Pop It Pal. It is a fake pimple popping device. Oh, you have to fill it up yourself? What? So let's see what they did. So when they were on Shark Tank, they were looking for $250,000 in exchange for 10% equity in the company. And Kevin O'Leary, Mr. Wonderful himself, actually invested in the company. What? Are there any directions? Or are you just, does it already have the stuff in it? How do you do it? Do I insert? Oh, I do. Ooh, uh-uh, nope, not for me. So it comes with this Pop It Pal pimple pus solution. And you go ahead and you insert it into the little pimple pockets. It's really like thick. I wonder if it's just, it looks like Neosporin or something like that. And you go crazy putting it inside. It's almost like too easy. It's not that fun. Ew, it's on my hand. All right, let me fill up a couple more of them. Why does it feel so difficult to get this stuff out of here? I can't tell if it's actually coming out or not. Have any of you guys seen Dr. Pimple Popper on Instagram? I feel like she was hot on the trend on social media of popping pimples. Oh yeah, squeeze that stuff. It smells like nothing. I wonder what it, there must be ingredients on this thing. Oh, it's beeswax, interesting. Does it say not to eat it? Hmm, no. Now I forget which ones I filled up. Oh yeah, that was a good one. So it is pretty gross. Which ones did I do? Ooh, it gets really liquidy inside there. It's just kind of weird. I think we hit five for five. The Pimple Popper Pal, or Pop It Pal. The Pop It Pal Pimple Popping Solution is unnecessary. So honestly, like everything that I've tested out today, I think would fit perfectly alongside all of my unnecessary inventions. All of them are just weird enough or just not really working the way that they should. I guess I just know how to pick them when I see them online. But we got through all five of these unnecessary Shark Tank inventions. And I'm gonna throw a link down in the description to everything that I tested out today so you can check them out. And if for some reason one of these resonated with you, you can buy it for yourself or I guess for somebody else. Ugh, my hands are all sticky now. But go ahead and comment down below of where I should find my next five products to test out to see if they are truly unnecessary and I'll test them out on this channel for you. And of course, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Smash the subscribe button. And I will see you this Thursday for a very special Unnecessary Invention video. And with that, I will see you later. See ya.